Welcome back. Six years ago, a 94-year-old retired judge gained nationwide attention after building a pool for neighborhood kids. Yeah, and he said he did it because his wife unfortunately died and he was lonely. Boyd Hubbard from our Minnesota affiliate checks in with the now 100-year-old man. When we first told you about the retired judge here comes the cement truck who built a backyard pool at age 94 it's 16 by 32 you had to have asked how long could he even enjoy it <laughs> six years later <laughs> here's your answer secret is don't die <laughs> Keith Davison has reached a milestone. Yeah. <laughs> He's 100 now. 100. <laughs> and still asking the same question of Morris, Minnesota's. Hi. Kids. You ready to go swimming? Yeah, I knew I had to do something or go nuts. The World War II veteran with no grandchildren was battling loneliness back then. April of 2016 when I lost her. Alone in his empty house after the death of his wife, Evie. You cry a lot. That's just the way it is. And now? Oh, <laughs> kids in the pool. Parents oh, wow. on the deck next to him. <laughs> she knows what to do. I love being here. Beverly Metzger yeah. comes with daughter Zoe two or three times a week. And how does this compare to Morris's other pool? What other pool? <laughs> the only outdoor pool in Morris. The judge's pool. Has become their pool, too. Yeah. You know, it's a terrible business expense. A terrible, but, but it's one of the best investments I ever made. An investment Alrighty. continuing to yield dividends. And we're celebrating Judge turning 100. Hang on there. A party with all the usual attractions. Okay. Plus, it was a lot different when I was 18. A 100 year old <laughs> guest of honor <laughs> who still plays in the community band. And he's playing the largest instrument at age 100. <laughs> Pretty amazing, pretty incredible. Lonely. You've been so generous to this community. No more. Thank you for enriching our lives with your goodness, love, generosity, and wisdom. All I can say is that, that I'm surrounded by friends. And uh, what more could you ask for? Keith Davison dug a hole in his backyard. That's his pool, right? A hole. Happy birthday. Now is full. Dear Judge. <laughs> as his hundred year old heart. <laughs> Boyd Hooper. Yeah. Carol Evan New. Mark. Cake sounds good. It really does. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I think it's a little cold outside for a pool to do that right now. Being that but... it's 48 degrees outside. But maybe a hot tub? Maybe yeah. it's the next investment. That's what he could, yep. Hey, there we go. Maybe one here. You know, I'll bring after, the shows, after the shows, you just what do you, take a load off. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't right. hurt, right? <laughs> it is 5.50.